Hello and welcome to Cell Phone Geek. Today we are going to talk about the Mustang here, the uh, rims here, see how they're silver. We're going to be uh, painting them black. So I'm going to go through a quick uh, steps on how to do it. Uh, this is what the Mustang looks like before and this is the after with the black rims. Alright, so uh, what I did here was I painted the rims and then that center cap, instead of painting that, I wrapped that in carbon fiber. So let's see here, get some pictures. I started off by uh, supplies that I needed with some cardboard and some spray paint like this. <coughs> Automotive primer. You spray after what you're going to do is, well, I'll tell you that in a second. Alright, so there's your primer. And then here you need your color of choice for your rims. I chose black, but you can choose, there's all sorts of colors. As long as it's made for metal, you'll be all right. And let's see what else did I need? Some sandpaper, of course. Uh, I had a sander, but you could just get some sandpaper, a wire brush, a uh, clean rag, that sort of thing. And once you do that, then you're gonna take your tire off the car like this. So you take the tires off. And you are going to clean them up as best you can, sand them down, wipe them down, wash them with soap and water, get all the dirt and everything off of them. And then once you do that, you will go ahead and place it in the grass and take your, I used uh, duct tape and duct taped around here. But I figured out an easier way by the time I got to the fourth tire that you don't need to put duct tape down. You can actually just, um, what I did, I would just primed, like the inside here, you're going to prime. This is the inside of the tire. And let's see, I'll show you a quick picture of the outside of the tire. It looks like this. So that's what the tire looks like before. I took the tire here, washed it up as you can tell. Uh, you can, duct tape works better than scotch tape or the tape that you use, the painter's tape because it won't stick very well to the rubber so you can use duct tape which sticks better but I noticed that if you've used a lot of the uh, tire shine stuff or that black uh, wetness for your tires to make them look shiny and brand new um, the duct tape doesn't stick too well to that either so what I found out is just take duct tape and duct tape any of your weights that you have on here so if they ever need to be taken off at a later time or anything it's easy to take them off and then also duct tape um, your nozzle here to add air in and out of the tire so that way that doesn't get sp sprayed and then just go ahead and uh, take your primer and spray that here on the inside of course you're going to do one side of the tire and then the other so then you want to spray your primer and prime this whole thing so then it should look it should look like this here with it all prime see it's like all grayish color most of the primers are gray but you can get them in different colors and prime in the uh, insides here of all four tires um, you don't have to do the duct tape like I said you can just spray it um, I'll show you you can actually get the primer and the paint off the spray paint off of the tire once you're completely uh, done painting the rims it comes off real easy. All right, so once you get them primed uh, on the jug on the can that I had, it said like 20 minutes for it to dry. So I let mine dry for 20 minutes. Once you let that dry, then you can go ahead and spray the color of your choice, which I picked black. So I sprayed the black here on the inside of the rim, and then uh, you gotta let it dry. Depending on what kind of paint you have, mine you had to let it dry for six hours, and then um, that was dry to the touch and then you're supposed to wait 24 hours before um, attaching anything to it so like the lug nuts or anything you can't put those on until 24 hours later so my car had to sit overnight with no tires so you have to be careful checking what type of uh, paint you're gonna buy to put on your rims so you have what kind of, so you know the time limit you've got and once you do that then you can go ahead and do the rest of them like I did and then go ahead and you can flip the rim over and do the same to the other side. I also like this one here. I used towels too. I was trying a bunch of different ways. I just put the duct tape around, taped it to the rim on the out part 
outer lip of the rim like you see here. I put the duct tape so then the sticky side faces in and I put it all the way around. Um, it takes some time but it was worth it in the end. And then uh, you could take towels like I did here and lay them on top of the tire itself, the rubber, to prevent overspray. But like I said, you don't have to. You can you could just spray paint it and try to get the least amount of possible on the tire and we can I'll show you how you can clean it off real easy. So then I prime this side and see you can see the duct tape here for the nozzle for the adding air in and out of the tire and also for the weight here that's about duct taped I primed this one and then I went ahead and I sprayed it black like this and what I did here is actually to prevent the uh, overspray from going through to the other side that was already black when I primed this side I didn't want the primer to be on the other side which was already painted black so I ticked uh, duct tape this is a sticky side here and with the uh, tire flipped over, I stuck the duct tape to the bottom of the rim on this side of the rim. So I taped it here, filled in all these holes. So that way, that's why it looks like this. So that way, the overspray wouldn't go in between and do any damage to the already or any overspray paint to the other side. So then, when I paint the primer and then I painted the black here, they didn't go to the other side. So when you look at it later, when you when you look through here, you can see it's all black and you can't tell that I did one side and then the other side later. So once you do that, then you can go ahead and let them dry. And that's what it looks like after I took the duct tape off. So it's all drying. And then I popped out the uh, duct tape here on the other side once it dried more. And I pulled the duct tape off from the stem for the air intake and outtake and the weight here. I let this dry overnight and then I took the tires here uh, I cleaned up the uh, actual rubber on here. Uh, the easiest way to get the paint off that I found out was the same stuff you use to shine up your tires. The uh, You can use a bunch of them, different ones. Like you have the black shine. I don't know, whatever types of uh, tire shine stuff you've got. Even the foam stuff will work. You spray it on the tire here, but make sure that the paint is dry on the rims themselves. So you spray it on the rubber here and uh, take a a dry clean rag or cloth wipe it off and the paint will actually come off the ri off the tire real easy without a problem it'll stay on the rim but it won't it will come right off the rubber here and then spray it again or foam use the foam and foam it around again on the tire and let it dry and the tire will be nice and shiny and all the paint will be off the rim so you don't have to worry about that getting the paint all over the actual rubber of the tire so that looks like that and then uh once you did that, then a uh, little finished product looks something like this. Put them back in the tires. Oh, and then I was going to tell you, these center caps here, my center caps look like... Let's see, I should have a picture here. Let me find it for you. The center of my caps originally looked like this. Well, that's way too big of a picture. But uh, here, it looked like this. This is one of the tires. Okay, so the, here's the center cap here. I took that and took the uh, carbon fiber wrap. I bought some on eBay. Uh, really cheap, actually. I took that and stretched it and stuck it over there while I cleaned up. Stretched it, stuck it on, and I used a heat gun and tried to get out all the bubbles I could so the final product looked like this. And then I pulled over the edges to the other side and then I took it and I even tried snapping it before I painted it and snapped it in here and it fit perfect actually a little bit tighter than the original way it snapped in so I shouldn't lose them while driving at high speeds and that's what I did for the center cap so it's carbon fiber and then the rest of the rim is black now instead of the gray color so my finished product looked pretty good so here's another shot of the car got the black rims and then the carbon fibers insert caps in the middle it looks pretty sick I like it a lot and got the dark green mustang so it looks pretty good and uh, here's the uh, paints again that I used I used uh, rust oleum uh, it stops rust it's automotive primer I did it mostly because my, the insides of my rims were starting to corrode pretty bad and they didn't look very good in the outside uh, they were scratched up pretty good the picture I showed you this picture here actually is the best rim that I had on the whole car. The rest of them were pretty bad from when I purchased the car a few years ago. Like
like here you see it's all scratched up and stuff so by priming and uh, painting this actually I sand, well I sanded it first so it's all smooth then I primed it and painted it and then it came out really good so you can't even tell any of the imperfections in the rim which I thought was pretty pretty sweet see it looks it's all nice and smooth it looks perfect like bring like a new set of rims and it cost me I think about 50 bucks uh, for all of the stuff that I purchased to recreate the rims or refinish the rims and it came out really good I really like it I hope this helps you can drop me a message if you have any questions or anything anything else that I may have used um, that same day I also painted my uh, calipers I think I showed you one of the pictures uh, the blue in here I painted the blue calipers or I painted my calipers blue um, cause that's the theme color I'm going on with with my uh, Mustang here here's another shot here when I had it up on the jack stands I took the tires off to do those when I took those off to clean the tires I was letting them dry and then I was painting the calipers here on the front and back of the car um, yeah it came out really good let's see oh I even took off on the front of the car you've got let me see here I can show you real quick See, is this the front? No, it's the back. Here's the front of the car. You have your caliper, and then you had there's a a metal brace here that uh, this part connects to. I don't know the name, technical name for it. I took those off, which is what these are: the driver side and a pat or driver side, the passenger side. And I took a, a sand, a uh, metal brush, and then scratched it up real good. Got all the dirt off of I ca as I can. Um, and then they use brake cleaner, the spray and spray to soak these down. Got them real, guys. Got them as clean as possible. And then I painted them blue. I don't think I have a picture of when they're blue, but they look pretty cool sitting there when they're blue. And then I took them and uh, rebolted them to the car, and then put the brake calipers back together on the car. So it looks like it all uh, blends together and belongs. And then. Uh, it looks pretty good when you touch to put the tires back on. There's without the black rims. And then even with the it looks really good with the black rims too. Let's see if I can find a picture with them with the black rims here. Yeah, there's here's the blue shows stands out a little bit on that one. When you see from the side of the car, here there's blue again. Stand from the side of the car, you can see it pretty good. I think it came out really nice. I like the uh, blue calipers also. I uh, just went on eBay for that also and purchased uh, blue caliper paint. It was like 20 bucks, and they give you um, was it a quarter of a gallon, I believe, of paint in the little container. See, there's a lid there. They give you a paintbrush, some tape to paint to tape stuff off. I didn't tape anything off. I just painted. Real careful and uh, some brake cleaner to spray it down and clean it up uh, I had to get my own wire brush to clean that but that's alright and it came out, I like it, and it came out really good and it was not hard at all to do I did it myself with no problem, that's what it looked like originally so they did clean up quite a bit and I think that's about it for today have a great day and uh, yeah comment and uh, subscribe if you like the video. If you don't like the video, send me a link and explain why you don't like it. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll help you as much as possible. All right, have a great day.